my old man and them, they all used, they used to have toilets and things. They used to go out for two weeks at a time, and then they come home. They used to spray all the Nungura burr from Fitzroy crossing right back to coming to Nook and Bus side, you know, back to either station all around there. And when they used to come home for the week off, we used to wash the clothes. Well, we used to have a twin tub and we used to wash it. Well, I didn't know there was what sort of spray they were using. We used to wash it with our clothes and it just smelled very stink, you know? And we used to do that till the season to season. Then they stopped and Ron Dalvin, you know, he was the boss. Yeah, and we used to see photos of them in the water and whatever place they used to go. Oh, Miles Boar. They had a little depot in the inside. Yeah, we never used to go there, but you know, we can, when we used to, sometimes we used to drop them off, or otherwise they get picked up from, you know, the shop or wherever. Yeah, but, well, we're inhaling it, eh? When we wash it, we, you gotta go from the one tub into the spinet, then, you know, spin them again. We used to, I used to do it with my hand. They put it into the other side to spin it, take it out, rinse it out, and then put it back and do the same thing and hang them up. Yeah, well, I get headaches and things, but it's not gonna do anything good anyway. But headaches and, I don't know, my, I had a, the son that passed away, he, um. He was a healthy kid, and then he ended up with, you know, like a hip. His bones was eating away in his hip. But I know my husband, when he was sick in the hospital here, they found traces of chemical in his body, you know? Broome Regional. I had my niece with me that day, Janine Rowe. Yeah, and the doctor said that he had traces of chemical in his body. I don't know if they, well, they must have been camping not far and then go out, drive out, you know, some uh, towards wherever the main place is that they have to spray all the birds, you know? Well, if the wind is blowing towards them and they spray, of course you got to get the stuff back into you, eh? You know? It's not easy. Wind is wind. It's you're not gonna say wind stop and then I'll spray. Well, I didn't know they had overalls. I don't know about gloves or mask. You know, I never questioned his job. But yeah, that's what they used to do. They had a backpack, I think, you know, or they carried in that, you know, by, by their hand and just, Pump, 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 and then spray. That's a big country out there to find where you gotta go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it affected us all right, you know. But <clears throat> so it might be in the future, my kids might get, or they kids, we don't know what happened. You know, it must be still in our body. We don't have any tests done to us or whatever, you know, even till today. Well, over the 30 years, I just gave up on government or anybody because we used, they used to tell us, we had um, people coming, we had to see them at the hospital. They were talking to them, you know? Talk is talking, but doing anything Nothing has been done till today, so just give up on them. Well, it'd be good effort, you know, them to do something because to other people it's gonna be the suffering too, you know. It's not only 
Aboriginal people. It's everybody who been spraying those sort of things, you know. And it'd be good to see them, the government, either do something go up or that. That's all how I say it. Maybe I might want to swear. <laughs> I can't help it on a swear, right? Eh?